And I, I tend to think we have been a little bit overly risk averse, especially when it came to the tanks. Um, and now I think the next decisions will be important as well. At some point, we have to give the Ukrainians a longer range precision um, munition for the high Mars, the high mobility artillery rocket system, the one that they have right now. The guided missile launch rocket system is accurate to about 80 kilometers, very accurate, land on a dinner table at that distance. And it has proven that was one of the game changer weapons that enabled the Ukrainians to take out Russian headquarters, uh, fuel depots, ammo storage sites, barracks, and so forth, and really forced the Russians to withdraw their forces that were west of the Dnipro River. They just no longer could sustain them once the Russian, the uh, Ukrainians had made it impossible for the Russians to support them. Um, you'll see something like that similar, uh, but we they really need a longer range system. And if we get into the question of Crimea at some point in time and trying to isolate it, uh, that's where you'd need a longer range as well. There are two options. The one that's most well known is the Army Tactical Missile System, accurate to about 300 kilometers. Uh, and then there's an intermediate one called the small diameter bomb, which can be adapted to be shot from HIMARS and in, available in quite large quantities and also relatively cheap. It's a, it's a much less actually than either the guided missile launch rocket system or ATACMS. Um, so that's another one. And at some point, I think F-16s probably are going to uh, begin to be discussed. Um, and I don't think, again, David, that Russia wants to pick a fight with a NATO country. I think that they have recognized that use of tactical nuclear weapons would backfire on them. So I'm not sure what their options are. Uh, you know, they make these threats, but in every case they have proven to be empty. And I think that that will continue to be the case.